I have always been fascinated by animals my entire life. I was the weird kid in elementary school that brought in a jar of snails because she thought it was cool. They were always very nice about it, saying like, ew, that's gross, but okay. I grew up with a lot of pets. We had dogs and birds growing up. So for me, animals were always a part of who I was. To continue being able to do that as an adult, I knew I wanted to work in the animal sector. So I came to Davis to major in animal science with the intent of becoming a veterinarian, very dramatically switched career paths into research. I chose UC Davis initially for my bachelor's because of the dairy. I came to visit and this was the only university of 11 that I had already visited where the dairy was right on campus and be present in the research and uh, present in the industry as a freshman. I was very lucky to be able to live in the Tercero housing complex, which is actually the complex that's right across the street from our university dairy. I decided that I was gonna go across the street and talk to the dairy manager. I registered and I stayed at the dairy working for almost a year and a half. My dad used to have this running joke where my sisters and I, we were gonna each be responsible for fixing some part of the world. And he always said that my responsibility was going to be fixing world hunger. In Dr. Mittlerner's Animal Science 41 class, he gave one lecture on sustainability and that was it for me. I was hooked. I knew that I wanted to be a part of addressing that challenge when it came to creating sustainable food systems and ensuring that everybody has access to healthy, nutritious diets around the world. Coming out to work at the dairy was definitely the start of the path where I am now. And then I just fell more and more in love with the dairy industry and everything that they do and the phenomenal people that are operating within this industry and also the animals. I was actually working with Dr. Mittlerner when he was developing what would eventually become the Clear Center. And I knew that once it got off the ground and running, I wanted to be a part of that. And I wanted to be a part of the education and the outreach and the communications that we do with regards to animal agriculture science and production just helping to ensure that they are part of the climate solution when they are constantly painted as the villains. Some of the research that we have ongoing at the Clear Center with regards to manure management is the testing of manure additives and how they can help reduce the environmental impact of manure. The hopes for this treatment is that it reduces the three main greenhouse gas emissions, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, in the hopes of reducing the pollution that's coming from liquid-based manure management systems. Finishing up with my exit seminar and to be able to finish up on work that I was very passionate about and get some good outcomes as well and to hopefully know that the work that I've done is going to have an impact on our industry. Uh, in the future. A very big special thank you to my family and friends, many of which are thousands of miles away today. You guys being here means the world to me, so thank you. But I'm also proud of all of the work that we've done and all of the work that we've been able to communicate. I'm going to be bringing a lot of the skills of communication and sharing of research that I've learned from the CLEAR Center with me into whatever role I go into next. <laughs>